Hi folks, my name's Joe Patterson. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. Out and about today, pondering things, pondering things like martial law. Martial law and, and um, end, end of time. End of what time, you know? Um, let, me, let me start with that, end of time. The scripture is loaded with the end of all things is near. And we've read this many times and thousands of years have gone. And um, I would ask you to maybe consider, rather than worrying about the end of the world, might consider the end of your time. We don't know whether we'll live to make it home from work. We don't know if we'll wake up in the morning. Many of us have had people in our loved ones pass on early. They weren't ripe old ages. They were young. We don't know when we'll die. I would strongly encourage that you quit considering the end of the world and uh, start considering the end of your world. Now, martial law is interesting because martial law, the declaration of a new, basically a new set of laws, when you're under martial law, it's a suspension of the ordinary law. So whatever, in, in a way, it's whatever was, used to be, or whatever, it's all bets off now. We're not going by that. You're under martial law. So in a way, it's kind of like uh, you can almost fly by the seat of your pants. You're no longer under the constitutional laws of the United States. You're, you're indulged in martial law. You're not under the ordinary law. The ordinary law should theoretically, be based off of uh, the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. And all the legislation should be written off of those mindsets. But in martial law, that's all off. And there's, so then, whatever is leading at the time, be it tyrannical or, or be it uh, upright, uh, they come up then with a, a new set of laws. And under martial law, and it's, it's suspended indefinite. It can be indefinite. It depends on the situation. All of this to say, the things that are happening in this United States of America in 2022 and, uh, could, could result in some forsaking of ordinary law. Let's just put it that way. I hope and pray, if you are claiming to follow Christ, that you are training yourself up in godliness that you are being wise, not foolish. I'm, we are not uh, what you call doomsday preppers. We are not. We won't. We don't kill people for if they're hungry or even if someone's going to steal our food, they'll just have it. Um, we'll honor and obey God over all of it. <clears throat> Though we're not opposed to keeping enough food on stock in case things were harder to get to, we would have a buffer some months uh, that we can carry on without having to go to the store. Um, I think that's uh, wise in many cases. If you don't want to do that, that's strictly up to you. I'm not going to condemn you, nor am I going to preach it as doctrine. All I'm saying is that there is um, a lot of warning signs going on right now, uh, and I'm not real big on them because I've been saying these for some years, and Things are still going way past what I thought they would. So I'm not saying, thus saith the Lord or any of that. I'm only saying that uh, if you're watching, you can see that people are getting to where they've had enough. And you start interrupting the flow of freight in this country. And you will certainly get the attention of anyone. Because even the elites depend on freight, transportation, shipping. Um, anyway, just encouraging uh, to put your heart on things above, set your faith in Christ alone, in the teachings of Christ, and obey them and honor Him. And understand that the government, if you don't know it by now, I would encourage you to consider that this government is not God's government. That our Lord and Savior Jesus, the Christ, is not an American. Heaven is not a democracy. God is just. 
the government of the United States of America is not, nor ever has been, just, according to its own history. These are the facts. So if you can understand that the government that many of you have been hooked into believing is a wonderful thing, it's the best country in the world and all that, I'm not saying it's a bad place to live. Where's better? I don't know. <laughs> I live here. I'm glad I live here, but I'd be glad if I live somewhere else. It doesn't matter. God is my king. He is my government. I submit to the laws of the land. I'm, I live here peaceably. I don't, I'm not a protester. I'm not uh, coming out against any of them. But I am going to tell you that when you understand what this government has and its right to do, martial law, you must understand that at that point, the laws that you have come to know are all off at that point. They are suspended, okay, for the time deemed of the leadership at the time. Until next time, Brother Joe, martial law.